Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give Krishna Prema, most precious gift, and that Krishna Prema requires pure devotion. So the message the message of um, Lord Ramachandra's pastimes is the message of pure devotion. Foremost authority on the pastimes of Lord Ramachandra was Valmiki. And Valmiki achieved his position by the mercy of the name Rama. And of course, the one who gave him the name was Narada Muni. So by the mercy of the name, he and Narada Muni, he transitioned from the position of being a dacoit, a robber, a really bad person, to the foremost exalted devotee. Pure devotion in this most amazing position, he was not only able to see Lord Ramachandra, he was able to experience the pastimes of Lord Ramachandra. He was given the power to understand the mood and the feelings of Lord Ramachandra and all of the devotees as the pastimes were being enacted. He was that close to their heart, just from the chanting of the holy name. Vanaras, you'll hear Vanaras again and again. Vanaras, they're very interesting. They're sometimes often described as monkeys, but they're not like, you know, the monkeys that you find in Vrindavan all over the place, or all over the place monkeys. They're celestial monkeys that are invested with inconceivable potencies by Bhagavan to assist him in his service. And Dasarath was one in that line. He ruled the world. A very powerful, pious, great personality, but had no heir to the throne. He had no son, so he was undergoing some yagya in order to have a son to carry on the lineage of this Ikshvaku dynasty. At the same time, in the heavenly realms, the demigods went to Lord Brahma, saying, help, Ravana, you gave him these boons that he couldn't be killed by us or anyone or anyone, anyone, and he's terrorizing everybody. Rama, you, you messed up. Do something, please. What did Brahma do? Brahma went to the abode of Vishnu, appealed to Vishnu to take birth on earth in a human form because that was the one form that Ravana didn't request exemption from being killed by. Vishnu, can you take birth on earth? And he said, sure. Just now coming. <laughs> I'll take birth on earth as the son of Dasarath. He's just now undergoing a yagya, and I'll take birth as his son. Hearing that, Brahma instructed the demigods create children, offspring, that can assist Lord Vishnu in his pastimes as the son of Dasarath. Create children in the female forms of apsaras and monkeys and this is and that's and the others and bears. So these vanaras, they're children of the demigods, all to assist the personality of Godhead in his divine pastimes. And they have amazing powers. Not only they can talk, not only they can fly, they can change shapes, they can, they have mystic powers to assist Lord Ramachandra in his pastimes.